I'll go and mark them. Today we're going to be taking a Lex motor out and as you see it's got a little bit more mileage than before. In fact it's got almost a thousand more miles in than before. I think it might even be over that. Also I do apologise if it starts cracking. I'm going to try not to go over 4550 because the microphone just crackles. But yeah, today we're just going to be going on a nice leisurely bike ride. Um, just around town really. There's some gravel uh, in the middle of the road. Right, so a couple of things about the bike. The first issue I had was the rear master cylinder went to 500 miles. It still hasn't been fixed, but it is getting fixed today, and there should be a video on YouTube um, coming shortly, like really shortly, because I'm going to video on them in the same day. Um, the speedo is about four mile an hour off, but apart from that, it generally is a decent bike. It's a 125, it is sluggish. I mean, that's what you expect from a 125, but it does the job. On 60 roads, you get about 80 to 90 miles to the gallon. If you all what you do is 60 roads, urban roads like what we're doing now, you've probably, well, I got 140 miles to the gallon on one tank, but that lasted as a month. Like 12 pounds worth of petrol lasted me a whole entire month. What is very good very good indeed yeah the past couple of days it's been torrential downpour so this bike uh, I got absolutely drenched on it especially yesterday and now all my riding kit is soaking well not soaking anymore just damp but it was soaking so driving torrential downpour yesterday thought is a lot more confidence on the bike like uh, I already had quite a bit of confidence but it feels like today I stepped on it and it feels like I'm unstoppable and I can chuck it on any corner at wide open throttle I mean most of the time is the case with the 125 however you know I just need to fucking hell have you seen that pink hair ah that's bright that it used to be a thing to represent your charity, remember like breast cancer, cancer awareness month and stuff like that where you dye your hair pink to show support now it's just anyone who wants to walk in home bargains and get a bottle of eye welcome sir I think I'm gonna go down the bank. Yeah, I'll go down the bank today. And then I'll just do a loop of the village. Well, that's not clever, is it? That is not clever at all. God, yeah, that is shocking, that. That driving. That driving, that parking is absolutely shocking. So we're just going to hop down here as we are going to avoid 60 roads just for now so I can get a video up and out um, and th yeah it, it, until I get this microphone sorted out at the end of the day it's a 12 pound microphone what, what can you really expect however what I don't get is I had this, I've used this exact brand and model before I've used this exact brand of model before and it was completely fine and now it's not so I'm not not entirely sure on, 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 on the well what's the crack with that but I guess it is what it is oh, oh, I'm a bit tired I'm also a bit hungry I don't know whether to call it a shop or not yeah probably not just spend more money Right, this is always a little bit dodgy because I feel a little bit of a bank and it's a closed junction. So they just drag the clutch in second just a little bit. Yeah, so plans for the bike today. It is going to get its oil changed. 
um, and also I'm gonna fit um, fit the new bus brake I couldn't think of it then I also do need to bleed the brakes after the problem right a problem with this bike to change the oil you have to take the exhaust off because of the muffle it's got a massive muffler on the bottom of the engine that covers the drain plug for the engine oil what's well, not not ideal really you have to take the whole entire rear exhaust off just to get just to get the drain plug this is another sketchy ass junction I hate junctions like that where the junction's behind you. Oh, and potholes are so annoying. Ow. But the thing is, right? Changing oil. Where do you actually stick the oil? Like, in the past, I've just put it in a container and just forgot about it. But I'm gonna ring up ring up a garage and see if they would just take oh, two litres of oil off us, dirty oil off us because I'm sure garages, you know, garages do that do services deal with oil all the time I'm just hoping that they're nice enough just to, to let me pour me two litres of oil maybe, maybe not but if not, I genuinely have no idea where you're meant to put the oil big tractor I learned actually how to drive a tractor not by mistake but I mean so I was doing my hedge car license to drive tanks and um, I had to learn in a tractor so it didn't just give us my hedge car license it gave us the F cat license <laughs> the F cat is uh, agricultural vehicles I learned how to drive if any farmers are watching um, I learned how to drive in a, I think it was a Challenger, was it Challenger 3 750? Or oh, MT3 Challenger 750, I can't remember exactly but it's huge. I remember, it, it wouldn't really fit in one lane, so like on a road like this it wouldn't fit in one lane. i will be hanging over the other side a little bit. This road and learner drivers do not mix. I'm just gonna keep me distance. Yeah, I'll just keep me distance from. So he doesn't have to worry about me too much. We've all been there once, haven't we? Oh, every game position is alright, to be honest. It's better than half the other cars that sit down here. At least he's in the white lines. Eh, yeah, not too bad, what I've done on you. Watch it not even be the learner drive driving. Learner driver driving. Oh, that was a tongue twister, wasn't it? dropped down the fourth for this corner here and then now you drop down the third for this corner here and then come out wide and slap it in full speed this is in the car obviously then you can down shift the fourth for this but I don't know I'm gonna just hit the brakes to push all the, the weight on the front tires and then turn it in and you accelerate up until about it's here and then you just ease off coast off yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Next video is going to be up very, very shortly. If not, it's already up by the time you're watching this. Um, please do like and subscribe. It does support. It does support us a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. What is should be servicing, servicing this bike, changing, changing the oil, and fixing 
the rear brake master sleeve cylinder or cylinder whatever you call it now but yeah i'll see you in a bit